next comedian is a very special man in this establishment. You all know him, you all love him, love him a little more. Please give it up for Austin! Yeah. Keep giving it up for him while he serves the people. Hey, Terrell, get the fuck out of here. You wanted to see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The black guy's in the back that's been talking shit on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Get, get, get up right in front so I can embarrass myself officially. Oh, everybody, come on. Oh, all the restaurant people. There you go. Very nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Okay. Well, good. Okay, yeah. Take my wife, please. So I'm going to start with this. Uh, when I was a kid, I was raised by a Marine. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, I was the long-haired, pot-smoking, earring, had weed stash in the closet type, and my sister was the uh, straight A brown as a bitch. <laughs> because she doesn't have dyslexia. So um, I used to have these fantasies about 16. I'd be like, you know, I wish I could just wake up as her one day and just ruin her fucking life. You know, just wake up, you know, right around, you know, you know, what do they call it? Oh, yeah, exam time in high school. It's wake up as her, not show up to school, pick up a black guy, get knocked up, leave a bunch of coke on the fucking dash of the car, wreck it, and then wake up the next day and be like, oh, I had a really good night's sleep and ruined her fucking life. And then, you know, and that was just, you know, one of those fantasy things that you think is funny when you're 16. But then I started to think, well, well, what can I do to, like, you know, expound on that, you know, because I'm a Star Trek guy, so about the whole, you know, going back in time and all that. So I figured, who could I wake up as and change the fucking world? Well, the first thing I thought was, in about 1977, between 70, I could wake up as David Lee Roth, hungover as fuck, look myself in the mirror and be like, I promise I will never quit Van Halen. <laughs> So then I started thinking, well, you know, let, let, let's, let, let's go beyond that. Oh, yeah, I can wake up as George W. Bush and be like, I'm just going to ride out this whole alcohol cocaine thing. And uh, then we wouldn't be as fucked as we would. Or uh, I could wake up as, ooh, I could wake up as, uh, I guess somebody talked about this before and I felt like my shit was being stolen. I could wake up as Adolf Hitler and be like, I'm going to ride this art school thing out. <laughs> See where it goes from there. Um, okay, now I'm gonna do some. Uh, now I'm gonna do uh, something really dumb because it's just what I have to deal with every day. I've been bartending uh, over half my life, and I also, not only do I bartend here, I also bartend over at Cha Cha's, which is like if you don't know, has been voted four years in a row the best bar to hook up in. Which I always say is uh, do coke and. <laughs> and ask someone for a rubber. But I get this a lot. I get these, like, you know, I get these girls that walk up to the bar and they're like, you know, they walk up to the bar and they're doing this and they're like, click, 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 click. can I help you? And they look me dead in the face. I'm like, I'm right fucking here. What would you like? I want this. And I was like, we don't have fucking Galliano and slow gin and muddled kiwis? Fuck you, what do you want to drink? Okay, I want something like strong and fruity and inexpensive. And I'm like, oh, will you stop talking about your brother? I mean, what do you want to drink again? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Something strong and fruity and inexpensive for all my friends. So basically it's vodka, cranberry, Sprite, shake it real good, you know, like it's in the cocktail movie, and pour it out. They're like, oh my god, these are awesome. That'll be $40, thank you. <laughs> and and, and uh, oh, going back to uh, does anybody have any ideas who you can wake up as and like you know change the world? Nobody, nothing. David S. Well, he needs to work out. Uh, well, well, what I'm thinking is is like you know, I just wake up on the morning as Jack and I'll be like, honey, I think you need to put the bulletproof thing on top of the car with my going through Houston because they don't like you. <laughs> really? Just saying, I'm just, you know what, everybody keeps saying, oh, just making shit up top of your head. That's what I'm doing. So, uh, but what I would like to, uh, one little comment I would like to make, and I know that the person that's come up after me is going to bust my fucking balls for it, because he always says, what is the deal with comics and Diet Coke? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Um, it doesn't really make much sense to me. 
Um, but, but I will say this: that when, when it's comedy, the comedy is done for me. It because it, it I'm a guitar player and I can't sing, so I get to have a mic in my hand and uh, make everyone have to listen to the rants that I come up with. But the best part is, is I get paid to make a fool out of myself, just like the rest of these motherfuckers in here. And I would like to thank you very much for supporting local comedy and all my friends. Thank you. This is my third open mic in three nights, I think. Because honestly, if I woke up in some Bill Murray-esque Groundhog Day loop, I wouldn't know for like a month. <laughs> so no, it would be get up, it would be put on the same pair of underwear I wore yesterday and play Diablo 3 until my mom made me do the dishes. And I don't know if that was yesterday or today. But it's gonna be tomorrow too. I don't fucking know. Uh, okay, so watch real TV. Like, I, I download the programs I want to watch, but I don't fucking flip through and watch this reality programming shit or commercials or whatever's fucking on. I was at my friend's house, though, and he does that. He's like, I'm gonna watch this, I'm gonna watch this, I'm gonna watch this. So I got to watch I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant this afternoon. <laughs> I, I want to know, from a statistical standpoint, how many girls on the show who didn't know they were pregnant do you think are Republicans? <laughs> Like, I'm just, that's, I don't know how I got pregnant, I wasn't married. If Jesus didn't see it, it didn't happen, right? Like, no, that's, that's fucked up, that's, alright. I don't understand it, like, we should just fucking, all you need to do is educate people and this shit won't happen. Alright, the, right now, alright, again, I saw this on the news today. Uh, Assad, the jackass in Syria who's like killing a bunch of people and fucking Syrian Hitler guy, uh, he's a bad guy. Most of us agree on that. He has a former aide. Uh, this chick is a grad student who just enrolled in Columbia University. And people are pissed because she was once affiliated with this fucking ignorant, backwards, evil motherfucker. They want to kick her out of American grad school. No! Not letting people get an education is not how you fix the fucking problem. All right, teach her that that shit is not wrong. Okay, being wrong about facts is not a difference of opinion. You're just wrong. Like fucking education is how you fix shit. Not like oh man, she's evil and backwards and thinks that you know all we should not kick her out of school. That'll teach her. Oh, I think you've messed up the word teach. Like, it used, in history, they used to take Christians and feed them to the lions. Now, the Christians take the intellectuals and they feed us to cable TV until all that's left is Jersey fucking Shore. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck them! <laughs> fucking... Uh, I, uh... I got into an argument with this jackass recently about, uh, like, he was bitching about gay people on the internet. Like, it's fucking, ah, and he was, you know, it's, it's wrong, I think it's just wrong. I'm like, well, fuck it, because the Bible says so, dude? Like, that's not a valid argument. I don't believe in the Bible, don't tell me that's why. He's like, no, it's not the Bible, it's biology, all right? Look, it's not natural. Most people aren't gay. <laughs> Fuck you, most people are Chinese. <laughs> All right, unless you're a practicing Muslim named Ping, you are not most people. So, fuck you. 
No, you just had to. All right, and you just, well, you know, it's just, it's just the way I think, because, you know, where I was raised, you know, I was raised in the South, and we believe a certain way. No, all right, you're 22 years old. You weren't raised in the South. All right, you live in a world of mass communication, of movies from all over the world, of like, the internet. You were raised the same place I was, in your goddamn bedroom by a Nintendo. <laughs> Alright, I was, I, I used to live in New York, I moved down to Richmond, in neither of those places did I learn that black people are less than white people, I learned that Italian plumbers can't fucking jump when I hit the fucking jumper. There's two buttons on the controller and one of them makes you jump, you fat, greasy fucking dago wop, alright? Just fucking make the goddamn jump, no, I don't want to fuck you! I'm sorry if that offended anybody, it's okay, my grandmother was pixelated, so... I can fucking do that shit. No, but people, people get these fucking like up in arms opinions about ridiculous like DC Comics just did a big reboot on all of their characters. Like everybody started over from scratch and they took some of them and made some changes. Uh, they just recently announced, like in some progressive move, that uh, Green Lantern is going to be gay. I'm like, okay, that's fine. But th what? Everybody's like confused. They're like, oh, Green Lantern? Hal Jordan? No, no, no. There's like four or five Green Lanterns, not Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan's the big famous Green Lantern. They're making the original Golden Age Green Lantern gay. Uh, and if you're not sure, Hal Jordan's the one who wears the green tights and has the fabulous ring. He's still straight. <laughs> Alan Scott was the original classic Green Lantern. He didn't have the tights. He had the green uh, blouse. Uh, and uh, the purple cape with the popped collar. Um, and the rest of the Green Lanterns, uh, they're powerless against the color yellow. Uh, and Alan Scott didn't have that. Uh, Alan Scott's weakness was wood. Uh, yeah, so in some serious creative direction, they decided to make the blouse-wearing, weak-to-wood, blonde guy gay. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're making him gay. Really? Not a joke. That's cool. No, it's, I mean, I understand. You gotta leave. Like, I, I know you don't. Wanna, I know you don't want to like wait till the end of the show, like, because you gotta go now. So that's that's cool. Guys, that's my time. It's been great. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great night. Drive safe, guys.